Hi, it's um, Brent Murphy. <clears throat> Just getting some um, interesting angles here and trying to minimize that microphone static. So, yeah, good luck with that. Um, again, here in the morning, there's a certain um, energy <clears throat> and um, potentiality of the morning that you really only experience in the morning. Okay, so there's no other time that's the power of morning routines, which I've spoken about before, and being um, able to get out of bed is such a massive reward, okay? Not, and, uh, not going, going to bed early. That was another big takeaway um, uh, we were talking about. A lot of people are so, um, there, there was a certain, last night was Saturday night, so there was a certain energy around the camp. Everyone was, chatty and uh, especially when once the silence silent period broke down or ended um the chatty sort of everyone sort of wanted to sort of see each other and reconnect so there was a lot of talk uh, a lot of sort of you could just tell the buzz and the energy around the place which by eight o'clock nine o'clock had translated even further and there was that energy i could tell you i could really experience it and as a um i know myself there is i used to get really swept up in the energy of Friday and Saturday night and then later it became Thursday and Friday and Saturday night and Sunday night anyway you know, it got out of hand but the point is it's about realizing there's that energy there and it doesn't have to translate into a behavior okay into a, an outward behavior which someone mentioned it even last night where's why don't we crack some wine or where's the bottle of gin something like that as a joke as it always is but uh, the point is it was no one acted on it so we're all well, anyway, not as far as I know. But the point is that energy often gets mis misconstrued or mis misapplied into a drinking or, or whatever episode. And all that night energy, like just as there's energy this morning of potential and, and purity and freedom and um, the silence and the joy of just the morning and the beautiful morningness, you know. At night, there's that spark and energy of social and the darkness and the intrigue. And that can be really beguiling and really um, trick you into, uh, into going off and, you know, going to casinos till 5 a.m. and gambling and drinking and all that sort of nonsense. When really, it's just the energy and the magnetism and the, the magnetic air of the night. And if we can really harness that and just be aware of it and feel it through our bodies, but not let it translate into a negative or a toxic side behavior. That's an amazing feeling. It's a really joyful feeling. So you can ride that, the up and down or that, because it is a real up at eight o'clock, nine o'clock on a Saturday night when you're with, in a different environment with all new faces and you're all talking and you know what I mean? There is an energy there. And in another life, that would have been totally Polaxed with um, drinking and whatnot, and but the the raw energy itself has nothing to do with drinking. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Drinking is like an attempt to double it or triple it or to add to it when it actually it, it is what it is, and drinking is what it is. And when you put them together, they're just they're not much more than the sum of their parts. Okay, that was just my reflection on the Saturday night at the meditation camp. This is Bren Murphy at meditate.net.au. Thanks a lot.